Hi guys, this is SDPT Aaron and welcome sa isang special episode natin for this week. So, gumawa ako ng poll sa ating programmer ako group and then most of you guys um, voted for game programming with Unity. But, naisip ko, why don't we just make a game design muna and then we will use yung game design natin dun sa larong gagawin natin. So, we will make a voxel character like this one on the screen right now and then i-animate natin siya. Does that sound good? Okay, good. Let's start the tutorial. So, first, gagawin natin yung project natin using an application called Magica Voxel. So, libre lang siya. So, ayan, paano ba natin to i-install? So, let's just go to Google Chrome, search Magica Voxel, Okay? And then, click Magica Voxel. Ito yung simulang simula yung kay f Gawan yun ni f And then, just, just download yung appropriate sa operating system mo. Ito Windows 32, ito Windows 64 B. And then, meron din tayo for Mac OS. Okay? Kapag dinownload nyo yan, compressed file. And then, pag uh, i-extract nyo yun, ito yung laman nun. Yan yun. So, no need to install this application. Meron na ang agad siyang executable, which is ito. Pagka dinoble click niyan, mag-open na yung ating Magica Voxel. Agad, no installation required. So, madali lang siyang gamitin. So, guys, buksan nyo na yung Magica Voxel nyo and then let's start modeling. Okay, so I will go back here. So, ayan. Um, pagka binuksan nyo yung Magica Voxel, I'm gonna create a new project right here. Top right, new project. Ayan, so ayan yung nakikita nyo ngayon, probably, isang malaking cube. Isa lang malaking cube. And nothing else, nothing more. So, let's get familiarized with our user interface. So, in the left corner, we have the color palette, obviously. Tapos, andito yung brush. Ito yung mga brush settings, which is, hindi naman natin gagamitin for now lahat yan. And then, on the right corner, meron tayong mga save files. And dito mga save files natin. And then, eto, yun nasa, meron tayong mga tools dito for editing. Okay, so, um, you can move using WASD. Hold nyo yung right click, tapos i-drag nyo so you can look around. So, on the bottom right, so naka-perspective ata kayo, perspective camera. So, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. Pwede nyo kipan. So, I recommend using, um, free para mas magan makagalaw kayo and mas nakikita niyo lahat ng perspective na gusto niyo. Meron din tayo tinatawag na orthogonal camera and isometric camera which is um hindi ko trip. So we will use free. And so um so ngayon makakagalaw na tayo na maayos sa ating voxel world. <laughs> we will learn how to make the robot na kanina nakita niyo. So, let's just erase this first. So, as you can see, meron dito attach, erase, paint. So, obvious naman yung erase. Click erase, then hold left click. Tapos, i-drag natin. So, ayan, madidelete lahat dyan ng naka-highlight. Hanggang maubos yung laman. Ayan. So, wala na. Meron na tayong isang empty canvas. So, mali ito para sa ating character. So, we need to change the dimension above here. So, um, ano yan? XYZ axis yan. Kung alam nyo naman yung um, ating 3D space, meron tayong XYZ axis. So, 1, 2, 6, 22 by 1, 2, 6 yung gagamitin natin. Ayan. Don't ask me why. So, kasi kasha, basta dun kasha yung ating character. Kasi hindi naman siya ganun kataba. But matangkad siya. Okay? So, ayan. Meron na tayong matangkad na canvas. And we will start making our robot. So, gagawa tayo ng red na robot. So guys, in order for us to make the robot na gagawin natin is we need to click the mirror X right here. So, um, from the word itself, mirror. So, kung ano yung gagawin mo dito, gagawin niya sa kabilang side. Okay? So, let's try this. If we left click right here, okay, naka-erase mode ako. So, dapat naka-attach mode tayo guys. Attach mode, magdadagdag tayo ng mga voxels. So, if we left click here, pagka nakita niya nag-drawing ako, nagda-drawing din siya sa kabila. So, Lahat ng gagawin natin is magiging symmetrical. Okay? Okay, erase ko ulit lahat. So, in the left corner here, we can select our color, kung anong color. So, we will make a red robot nga. So, let's just, um, let's just go inside our magic voxel world. 
<laughs> so ayan, um, just pick a uh, color of your choice. Basta sa amin, ang gagawin ko is a red robot. So, um, if you, if you would like to follow along, then please do. But I will just explain yung mga fundamentals na kailangan para maging ready to animate yung ating gagawin. So, first of all, kasi gagawa ko na red na robot, which is titignan ko muna yung spacing ng paa niya. Ito yung paa niya. Um, I think right about here is okay. So, um, ayan, ang gagawin ko is 3 by 3 na paa. But, dadagdagan ko ng isa para sa kanyang daliri. Okay, so, um, ayan. So, ayan, meron na tayong paa na may daliri na na magkakadikit. <laughs> And then, gagawin ko na yung binti niya, which is, um, I will use um, dark gray. Ayan. Ayan. Pa-fast forward ko most of the time. Ilalagay ko lang sa mga um, important stuff yung ating tutorial. So, eto, um, eto, isa sa important stuff is pagkagagawin na natin yung tuhod, yung mga joints. So, so yung mga tuhod, yung elbow, yung leg, and yung wrist. Okay? So, ito gagawin ko na yung tuhod. So, ayan, gagamit ako ng light gray. Ayan, tapos, um, dark, dark gray para sa ating um, knee. So, kailangan emphasize siya para mas madali natin ma-animate mamaya. So, guys, ito pa isang tip. If we hold out and then left click sa isang color, left click, may kita nyo, mag color niya. And ipipit niya yung color. So, pick color yung alt click. Okay, so, uh, we will use this color again then. Ayan, buo na yung knees natin. So, gagawin ko na yung, bin, yung hita. So, fast forward ko na to. So, ayan guys, tapos na ating hita. Um, eto guys, um, ituturo ko sa inyo. Meron ba isang tool which is called the paint voxels. So, ayan, pag yung paint as... Um, from the word itself, paint. I repaint lang natin yung mga color na dito. So, so for example, I click white right here and then just left click, papalitan nyo na ng white color. Okay? So, gets nyo? Okay, so yun yung paint tool. So, um, so kaya kung ginawa yun, lalagyan ko lang ng, ayun, ng outline tong ating tool. I mean, binte. Tsaka, kita. So, ayan. So, ayan. That marks the end of our knees and kita. Basta yung buong lower body. Iko-connect na natin ngayon yung hips niya. So, uh, ayan. Ang kailangan nyo lang gawin is um, just hold. So, attach ulit tayo. Left click. Tapos pag-connect, tina natin to. Ayan. Magka-connect na sila. Ayan. So, gagawin ko na yung body. So, kung gusto nyo mag-follow through, then please do. Kung gusto nyo gumawa na sarili nyong design, then go nuts. So, gawin nyo lahat ng gusto nyo. So, ito yung gagawin ko. So, basta design nyo yung katawan, hindi naman siya masyadong importante kung ano yung laki ng katawan niya. Basta yung mukha pa rin robot, syempre. tapos na yung katawan natin and then we will make the hands. So, gagawin na natin yung ating arms. Tapos yung mga kamay. So, let's just put um, ito right here below one sa ating shoulder. We will make a mark. So, ito yung simula ng ating kamay. Ayan. So, and then, dapat, eto guys, is sa pinaka-importante, dapat naka t pose ang ating gawa. So, para ma-animate natin siya, we will use a t pose model. So, ayan, yun yung magiging kamay niya. So, let's just do this. Then, again, yung kanyang elbow, kailangan naka-emphasize. And then, yung kanyang arms na. And I think that's okay sa haba. And then now we will paint the, I mean, we will draw the hand. So, may kamay na tayo. So, ayan, yun na yung base ng ating katawan ng robot natin. So, pwede nyo pang gandahan yun ng pangit ng gawa ko. So, ayan, sobrang flat ng likod niya. 
So ayan, gagawin na natin ngayon yung leeg. So we will do the leg. <laughs> so ayan, do it in any way na dapat emphasized yung leeg. guys, eto na yung finished product natin ngayon. So, I'm so sorry kung hindi siya mukhang finished product. <laughs> Nagmamadali kasi tayo. And, ayan, ang pangit niya. <laughs> but, we can use this to animate something. So, ayan. So, kung tapos na kayong gawin yung inyong model, um, tingnan nyo kung ano yung pinakamataas na pixel. So, kung ano yung pinakamataas. So, as you can see, meron dito XYZ na lumalabas on the bottom left, katabi ng camera. Ayan, yun nandito. Tingnan nyo. Observe this part pagka nilagay ko yung ating cursor. Ayan, nakikita nyo yung coordinates. So, i-point nyo dun sa pinakamataas na voxel nyo which is yun sa akin, eto. And nakikita nyo, um, it's on the Z58. So, papalitan ko yung ating ating um, Z-axis into 59. Para sakto siya dun. Enter. Ayan. So, ayan. Ganun na siyang katangkad. So, okay. Para hindi tayo maguluhan sa buhay natin. Okay. So, ayan. Meron na tayong character. Now, we will export this as an OBJ file. So, ano yung OBJ file? It is a 3D file na binabasa ng most of 3D softwares and game engines. So, as you can see, on the bottom right, sa pinaka-right, meron dito ang export. Kung nakaganyan, click nila export, and then, let's export this as OBJ. So, click OBJ, tapos isave nyo sa, isa, eto, basta isave nyo dito sa may export folder. Gawa tayo ng bagong folder para dito, Red Robot. So, ginawa ko kanina Blue Robot. Red Robot, save, and then, mag-browse kayo dun. So, eto yun, export. Ito yung Red Robot. As you can see, meron tayong tatlong files dito which is yung MTL stands for Material, OBJ stands for Object, and then itong Red Robot na ito yung pinaka-color niya. So, um, let's just take all of that and then right-click, then i-compress natin. Add to Archive. Okay? So, dapat zip file siya, hindi RAR file. Zip file. Okay. Then, we will compress it. Ayan, meron tayong compressed file. And then guys, so ayan, punta tayo sa Google and then go to Mixamo. Dito tayo mag animate So guys, we are here at Mixamo.com. So kung gusto nyo, mag-sign up kayo kung wala pa kayong account. Sign up for free. Libre lang yan. Basta gumawa kayo ng account. Basta sa akin, meron ako. I will log in my account. Ayan. So if we load this, magpunta tayo sa isang... Ayan. So meron tayong ano, library ng mga animation. So, in the right corner, meron dito upload character. So, just click upload character. Then, puntahan nyo yung zip file nyo. And then, let's just, just drag the zip file dito sa, ano na to, part na yan. So, guys, may kita nyo na dito kung bakit pinapa, ano ko sa inyo yung joint. So, ayan. Titingnan natin. So, wala siyang color dito, but that's not um, a concern right now. Kasi, i-animate lang natin siya next. Tapos, ilalagay natin yung mga body parts niya. Yung chin, which is distinguishable siya dito. Wrist is eto. Elbows is eto. So, yan guys. Kaya dapat magkakahiwalay sila para mas mandi distinguish mo. Knees. Ayan. Groin. Ayan. So, guys. Click standard skeleton. Then, pilitan nyo lang no fingers. Kasi walang fingers yung atis ating model. So, yung symmetry, oo, kasi ayun nga, symmetrical yung ating gamit na model. Okay, next, mag-iikot-ikot siya, then we will wait for the result. So, guys, as you can see, um, ayan na yung tao natin. Gumagalaw siya. Ayan. So, as you can see, fully animated na siya agad. Bilis, di ba? So, ayan. So, in-next na natin. If we next this, um, next, ulit. Makikita nyo, ayan na yung ating character. Nasa lumilip-lumulutan siya. But that's, hindi yan yung concern natin for now. So, ayan guys. So, you can easily animate it now right here. So, ang pinagkaiba lang nito, 
um, limited yung animation niya. So, itatakil natin yung further explanation pagka nasa advance na tayo ng game design. So, ayan. Sinerge ko walking. Then, we will pick um, a walking animation light here and then maglalakad na siya. Ayan. Mm. Ayan. Nag-animate siya sa isa niya. Galing, di ba? Walking. Ayan. So, guys. Um, paano ba natin ito may import sa ating Unity? So, yung panggawa natin. So, as you can see, ayan yung joints na gumagalaw. So, that's why it's important na yung joints niya is magkakahiwalay. Okay, now we have that di this um, animation. Kikiliki lang in place para nasa place lang siya. Panaglalaan din siya gumagalaw. Then, let's click download right here. And may kita nyo may format FBX. Ang gagamitin natin is yung FBX for Unity. So, frames per second, pwedeng 60 kung mas gusto nyo mas uh, maganda. And 30 kung, kung gusto nyo yung performance yung mas mabilis. Then, just, just download this. Preparing the download, wait, hintayin natin. Ayan na. So, ayan, nagda-download na. So, guys, yun lang muna ang tutorial natin for today for the game design. And medyo mahaba na kasi yung video na to. In the next special episode, we will use our character sa ating laro. So, we will make a simple game next week in our special episode. So, ililipat na natin yung animation na yan sa Unity and then we will make a game out of your character okay guys um i hope you learned something from me today and as always i will see you in the next video guys goodbye